Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Command. I'm Ruben and today we're going to start working on a new moon base. The contract for this base is coming due so I decided to put this base at one of the poles. So I built this little vehicle to search for a good build site. I got pretty lucky in the third place I landed. This spot wasn't too far away. It's very close to being level and it's about six kilometers away from the south pole. I then decided to take the vehicle up to the North Pole. I hit the ground too hard on landing, broke the engine, so I just sent the Kerbal home from there. The first module we're going to build today has the drills and the ore storage. For each module we're going to use the base that we built for our first moon base, and that's because it worked so well. We need to cool these drills and one large radiator will be enough to cool two drills, if they're attached to the same ore tank. What I should have done was attach the drills to the lower ore tank, then use the translation gizmo to move them up, then attach these radiators to the lower ore tank. Because these radiators are attached to a different ore tank, they ended up being ineffective, and we'll have to fix that later. Now we're going to be building a simple converter module. My idea for these first modules is to get them all set up on moon so they're producing fuel. Then we can refuel the sky crane on the ground. Initially my idea was to move moon station into a polar orbit, but I realized the orbital mechanics would almost never be favorable to rendezvous with the station, coming from Kerbin. Finally we have our solar array and comms tower. I should have included a probe core here so this thing could hold itself up and not want to tip over. Since we're building at one of the poles, the sun will usually sit just above the horizon and spin around us, and that's something we need to keep in mind when designing this solar array. Part of the tower started to get this weird vibration, and that was solved by enabling auto strut.
none of the ships out here had an antenna. So in the last video we built a lander, filled it up with antennae, sent it out to the station, had the Kerbal make sure that every ship had an antenna. Now that we have control of the Sky Crane, we'll take it down to the surface, refuel it, grab the movers, and then rendezvous with the parts that we sent.
Once it was all refueled, it seems we had some weird bugs happening with the grabbers. When we're underneath the orbit of the parts we sent, we'll launch into a polar orbit and rendezvous with them.
Now that our modules are assembled, we're going to send a Kerbal out to fix the radiators. Here I was getting a little concerned that we were going to have to ditch the runabout, but we ended up making it and I probably could have landed much closer to the base, but I didn't want to risk crashing the runabout. Now with the radiators attached to the same ore tank as the drills, they'll be kept at their optimal temperature. We have our modules set up to produce fuel. In the next part, the Sky Crane will be refueled, we'll bring some more parts out there, and then we'll reconfigure the base. In other news, my plans to fix Minimus Base worked perfectly, so that video is in the works. Also, we'll be configuring the Orion capsule for an interplanetary voyage. That's it for today, and we'll see you next time.